What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm here with my homeboy, Ben. I'm supposed to say your name, but he, he doesn't. What's your name? Ben. Deco, boy. Neta, neta. He's Ben. Today, what are we gonna fuck up today? It's Jerry. <laughs> so on the last video, you saw that I was doing some coilovers on Josh uh, SRT. And uh, everything went pretty good. We got the coilovers in the front. We got the coilovers in the back. Uh, somewhere over right there. The uh, rack and pinion decided to take a shit. So I fucking leak all the fluid. And then it leak all the way down, fucking outside. So now we're gonna replace the rack and pinion. And believe it or not, this is my first time. Right, Ben? Yeah. We're gonna try. So. I'm only known you for a year, sir. The what? I'm only known you for about a year, so I mean. You only know me for a year, so. But on the year, I haven't, I haven't yeah. done it. So anyways. I've been working on this thing for I don't know how many fucking years, but I haven't done one of those. So this is the first time we're gonna do it. We're gonna try to show you how to do it. And if I'm doing it wrong, or it's an easy way, please let me know, because it looks like a pain in the ass. And I don't wanna fucking do it. Josh is getting all sad. You better see this, Josh. Because, you know, he's spending a lot of money on this car, but he bought it with a lot of problems. I'm gonna help him out with the installation. Yeah, hopefully everything goes good. So I'm gonna guide you through the stuff that we're gonna do, hopefully it will help you because I, I tried to find some videos about how to do it and I couldn't find anything. So Ben has one that you use D power, right? Yeah. So he's got one that he took it apart, took all the seals, put everything back together. And now it's kind of like a manual rack. Uh, I got a hole in my face. Uh, not on your face, Seems like you plenty on your arms. So, so oh yeah, right here. We haven't put the actual manual one in yet, so I mean. The what? We haven't put the actual manual one in yet. No, no, no. So he's got one, a manual one that he just built, or I guess he took one of these, took it all apart, took all the seals, make it like manual, but we haven't installed it yet. So we're going to learn how to install it on this one, and then we can try it on his car, and then we do the next one, deep power, and then start switching it. So if you know an easy way, let me know so I can do it that way. But anyways, we're going to show you how to do it this way, and hopefully everything goes good. So first of all, we're gonna take the tires off and we're gonna drop the soft frame with the um, control arms. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this off from the knuckle and then you're gonna take this one bolt for the uh, bolt joint right here. And then on this side, you're gonna take this mount or at least on here. On the other side, same thing, but you're not gonna take the mount, you have no mount. And then you got four bolts that holds the soft frame in and everything's gonna come down with it. We also gonna disconnect the, you have the flashlight over there? Uh, I think so. We're gonna disconnect the uh, steering column through the inside because I don't see a way to get it from the bottom. So, you're gonna pull this thing down and over here, let me see. Wait. I don't know if you can see it. You have a nut and a clip. You're gonna take that clip off, clip off the nut and then just slide the bolt out. And then after that, the whole um, section of the steering column or whatever you call it, extension, will come off with the rack. And then we swap it to the new one and slide it back in. Hopefully I can get all these angles since it's under here and under there and uh, show you how to do it. So let me switch the camera around and start working on this one. All right, guys. So I'm going to try to show you. You got this clip right here. Let's take it off. Then I believe that's a 13. So you're going to get you a 13. Put it on here. Just got to loosen it up. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Yes. So while I'm doing this, Ben is doing the ball joints and all the other stuff. All right, guys. So the nut is going to stay here. It's kind of like well there or whatever. And then you got the stuff coming out. You want to make sure your string wheel is kind of like center. And then uh, just pull it out like that. And this thing will come down 
you can just move it around or whatever and then um take this off it's nasty shit. and what up? so now we can go ahead and start disassembling the bottom oh i was like what the fuck is it moving well band is moving my shit. so now we can start disassembling the bottom which band already started on it ben show me what you did here um so check out no, i, 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 okay, I, I can be a camera guy oh you're probably you're better a camera guy than i am anyways I and mean, we saw um, how bad that happened last time well yeah we saw the video <laughs> let me see so first of all take your outer tie rod off the 19 millimeter out on the bottom wait hold up i can't see shit. let me get my flashlight wait 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 that was your water Oh, watch out the turbo. Oh, never mind. It, it, I thought it was going to fall for a second. Oh, what? The turbo? Yeah, it started wobbling. I was like, oh. It's not mine. That's Mark's turbo. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Hey. So, you can take out your outer tie rod. It's a 19 millimeter nut on the bottom of it. Uh, tap with a hammer on the side. It'll pop up and just pull right off. And then, what about the, the nut? Oh, yeah. You, you'll, you'll want to break that loose before you. Before uh, you do this. Okay. Yeah. yeah that, Gucci. What's I mean, next? Or not, you could just like put it in a vice, be a little extra and do more work than you have to. Don't, don't listen to him. <laughs> We're trying to work smarter, not harder. You don't like you're to work smarter. You're trying to work smarter, not harder. I do. Shit, fuck this. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be an idiot over here. I'm the comic relief. I didn't say shit. You saw that. He said it himself. So then, I what we did? The bolt out that holds the uh, lower ball joint. Get out. I'm actually not sure where I'm putting my hands, but yeah, um, I you got a uh, 15 mil on one side, you put a a uh, wrench over there to hold in place. Use an impact or another wrench with an 18 mil on the other side. Cool. Let's do the other side. Let's show it how it's done. Remember, I, I like to work smarter, not harder. But this guy right here, trying to make everything complicated. So it's about to die. There you go. Woo. So now, let's give it a little more, more love on this side. I'm trying to get the outer, I mean the inner tie rod, I mean outer tie rod out of the knuckle. You don't want to hit it on the bottom because then you can damage the the outer tie rod. So let me see. Let me show you how it's done. You are like sissy girl. <laughs> Ta -da! And it's out. You can also rent a fancy tool and do that shit, but fuck. Everybody does it this way, as far as I know. Alright, so now what's next? Under the bolts, let it fall. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Almost there. We need to take the lines off. Yeah. Yeah, we need to take the lines on the power string rack and the power string cooler. Yeah. Swing it out. Then we can take the bolts and drop it. So let me uh, go on to the car, get Ben to start recording, and then we'll show what we do next. Recording. Okay. So, um, can you see? Okay. We're gonna take the oil cooler off. It's got two 10 bolts on top. Can you see them right here? One here, and then one here. Uh, you facing the exhaust. So, yeah. yeah. I <laughs> yeah, gave a pretty good angle for the... Uh... You face them back, so just put it down here. So we're gonna take those two. Make sure I'm actually getting You're gonna have got my hand on the camera pretty much, yeah. Yeah. There's not really any good uh angles angle for that. <laughs> so it's right on top of it. You can see my hand oh, right in. 
Yeah, I think I can get a pretty good job here. I need to hire a new guy right here. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Hire so send me an application <laughs> and you will be, you know, hire. You have to work for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hire my ass. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> uh, can you see that? Yeah, There's I can see that. Right here. Mm -hmm. How's it do this holding the oil cooler? The power string cooler is out. So now we're gonna use this pipe wrench for the uh, lines. If you don't have one of these, just get a regular 16. Just make sure that when you put it on, you, you got it on. <laughs> you're not stripping the shit. All right, guys. So I'm gonna get close right here. This is the two lines. One is right here, and the other one right there. So I'm gonna take the bottom one. And I'm taking this one off. And that's it right there. Got one and two. And then you just move the line out of the way. And that's it. It's a pain in the ass. But you can get it. So now we're gonna start taking the uh subframe bolts so we can put the jack under and drop this bitch down. There it goes. Got it? Yes. Alright guys, we got the four bolts. The hold the soft frame. You got man. Let's see. You got one right there, and then the one on the control arm. So this one goes like right here, and then this long one goes right there, and all the way up. So. We're ready to drop it. Hi, right, Ben. Go slow. We got the control arms already out. So it should be pretty much straightforward. Uh, Keep going. Really, Keep I going. Your hand is on the side of it. I saw it wobbling. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Because I guess the weight of the control arms is pushing it oh. forward. Yeah. So, so. All right. So. Yeah, this thing is like heavy. Crooked as fuck. Whatever. Come on. Let's get it down. Uh, slow. Keep going. Not bad. A little faster, didn't I? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, buddy. Woo. All right. It's all the way up. All right. Now. Let me get it off the jack. Let me push the jack out. The what? Keep pulling it. The jack. I'm going to pull it out. There you go. You think next time it'd be better to put a jack on each side? We only have one jack. I mean, I can bring mine next time. Yeah, we can do it with one. Don't overcomplicate the process. <laughs> so what? I said don't overcomplicate the process. Yes. So there it is. Rock and bingy. So now we can go ahead and uh, take this rope in right there, transfer it into the new one, and then uh, put it back. Oh, well, we have to switch the outer tie rod and the center. Fucking center that is somewhere oh, right here. This sensor we have to put on the new one. So, yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, that's it, right there. <laughs> the what? So, so I'm here. We go mine next week. Ah, uh, no, no, no. no. This game. <laughs> I got so much work. I need my wife trying to slide in. <laughs> so now, let's. <laughs> 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 this fucking guy. So now, let's um. I'm gonna try to set up the GoPro somewhere and uh, start working on it. So it's kind of pain in the ass, holding it and recording. Mexicanos al grito de guerra, preparados para esta misión, levantando siempre la bandera. Nunca olvido de dónde soy yo. Mexicanos al grito de guerra, ya está listo todo el pelotón. Guerreros de la tierra azteca, desde el reino haciendo conexión. Aquí me encuentro desde hace
hace rato Cantando y expresando para la gente que le gusta el guato Demostrando lo aferrado del mexicano Hasta no conseguir por lo que todo el tiempo hemos peleado Siempre adelante, ah. sin detenerme Con el orgullo siempre presente La pista al frente, así es como yo soy Y nunca paro, así es como levanto el gran orgullo de ser mexicano Hey, Kyle, para acá Pa' que guaches la acción de este lado Acá en mi ciudad natal Reino es el nombre Ciudad de los cerros donde nunca para el borrote Y eso es pa' todos los locotes Esto va de mi lado, pa' todos los estados Pa' todos mis soldados Para que vean que nuestro turno ya ha llegado Para que sepan que seguimos siempre al frente y avanzamos Al grito de guerra Preparados para esta misión Hi guys, so Have you seen Oh, hopefully y'all see the time lap that we did. It shows that we re we changed. Oh, hey, we need to change the sensor too. See, we're going way too fast. We're already down there. Fucking sensor is like fucking right here. So, anyways, uh, we were discussing if we're gonna do this what time lap or time -lapse. regular video. And you say what? I'm saying time lapse. Uh, just but, uh, what do you say about Henry? <laughs> what did I say about Henry? You! you said nah, it. Henry, you say fuck you. Uh -huh. He said it. Nah, he said it. <laughs> He's like, fucking Henry's always crying. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Off camera, now I put it on the camera and I was crying. But whatever. <laughs> See, he's laughing. He knows it's true. Anyways, we fucked up. Uh, we forgot a sensor. So we need to swap the sensor. So, of course, you're gonna have to swap the, uh, the little shaft that goes from here to the steering column and then you have to swap the uh, outer tie rods so what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure this one and then put the nut at the same spot so your alignment can be pretty close um, if not pretty much dead on um, anyways this Josh is gonna go to get an alignment after this because we put coil over we did this so you want to measure that make sure it's good um, this shaft right here can only go one way because it's got a little flat spot right here i don't know if you can see it let me see let me bring some light let's shed some light on the situation so see how that's flat okay so the shaft can only go one way it's pretty good so like that you know it's, it's center and then you have to line it up and it goes in now ben is taking the pressure sensor don't forget the sensor like we did this isn't where it was leaking from, was it? No, 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 no. It was leaking from this one. Okay. This side, this side of the thing. No, that's that's good. So it'd be kind of awkward if you know we uh, put the whole thing back in and start. Yeah, no. Now fuck that. <laughs> no, I I saw where it was leaking from. So okay, now let's put it on this one. So you already have it under the car, almost ready to go. Also, the rack comes with. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I just fucking hit Ben the back. That's what I shit talking, Henry. <laughs> they come with new o rings, so make sure you replace the o rings on the line right there and on the other one. So, let me get you some light. Can you see that? Oh, it's oh, on the bottom. Plug oh, no, wait, hold up. What is it? It's got a plug in it, the little green. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Can you reach it? I can reach it. I guess I'm curious if I can pull it out with my hands if I need to get, grab some pliers. No, well, it should be pretty easy, no? Pliers or a screwdriver? No, I'm okay. You got it? There it is. Okay. Let me go on the other side to see what we're doing. Oi! Oh, fucking light. So, let's put in the pressure sensor. Here's the part where I can you know, get under where I can tighten it up. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna put the sensor, tighten it up, and then after that, we're gonna raise it up. Because we are. What are you laughing at? I'm still laughing at the giving Henry shit part. <laughs> the what? See, Henry, he's still giving you shit. It's not me, it's him. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> See? He's laughing. Well, I was saying we should do the time lapse because I don't know where we're at on time. And you're over here like, nah, fuck Henry. <laughs> I fucking never say that. He's fucking like, I don't even speak English. No Nintendo. No sé qué pedo está ahí en este way. Sí, I don't speak English. Uy, la migra, uy, la migra, la migra, la migra. Estamos en México, pendejo. 
No Nintendo. Oh shit! You heard it? Better Spanish than fucking Henry. Fool! Yeah. Hey, you leave that in this video this time. <laughs> you leave that shit in the video. <laughs> He's saying that why you didn't put the birria thing on the other video, but you didn't put it, you know, so. He said it better than you, Henry. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. No birria. It's birria with la verga. Se te está mamando, güey. Give me some choncho. I'm so crazy. Oh, man, that's fucked up, Henry. Man, that's fucked up. Hey, we're having fun and fucking doing some fucking. I don't know what we're doing. Honestly, we're just fucking making some shit up. So, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need, we need Henry here more often so we can talk shit to, shit to him. Because Mark is not here. Fucking bitch ass. He's like, oh, I have to work. Who the fuck works? Motherfucker. Whatever. So. Mientras estamos esperando, raza, es un video de lo que hicimos de la, de la dirección hidráulica porque le empezó a tirar a este vato. So ahí está el video para que sepan más o menos cómo hacerle. Si ustedes saben una mejor idea o más rápido, déjenme saber porque es la primera vez que lo hago. Y he estado trabajando en neones como de 10 años. So, ahí más o menos en el video se ve como los tornillos que quitamos y todo el pedo, ahí saben. Este, pero sí, ya ahorita la vamos a poner. Lo más se nos faltó un sensor ahí atrás que de presión que no se la quita la otra vieja y este y lo que le está viendo la raza pues nomás le mides aquí a este para que le pongas el uh, los tarros a la otra para que quede bien bien chido you done or uh, we come tomorrow uh, tomorrow is good no, no. we mañana. need to put it in at least today uh, mañana ah he said mañana oh muy chingón Bro, you know, you know Henry's gonna put some shit because you're talking to Spanish right now, right? Oh, 100%. I'm That's gonna good. enjoy that. <laughs> That's good. That's good. No, I tengo la voz del rat. No, la tengo mala la voz. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Con dinero y sin dinero, siempre hago lo que quiero y mi palabra es la ley. You know what to do, him. You know what to fucking do. Get to work, motherfucker. I mean, uh, no, no, like, you know, rest this motherfucker. Whatever. So, we Gucci? Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're Gucci. So, Unless, of course, what are we doing? Spraying, uh, well, I think we're gonna start jacking this thing up. No, bitch. On the video, what are, we, what are you doing? Video? Regular video? Time I guess regular video. More time to change. Regular time. video? Yeah. Alright, let me set up the fucking camera. So, you can see what we're doing. And, uh, hopefully everything goes good. If not, fuck it. Whatever, it's not mine. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's fucked up. And Josh, I didn't say that. So that was him. He just said it on camera. He, te he texted me to say it. Not me, bro. That was, that was this guy right here. That guy right there. I don't even know English. No Nintendo. No sé nada yo. Uh-uh. No. No, 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 no papeles. Right what? See? <laughs> no entiendo lo que es este vato. <laughs> Alright, let me uh, get the camera ready. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. Here we go. Ready? As I'll ever be. Huh? I said as I'll ever be. Make sure you line the the thingy. Yeah, I got. All right, that's in there now. That's, that's in there. Yep. And now for the actual. Hey, hold up. Yeah, you hit it outside. Um, hitting on the rudder. So, what do we need to do? Um, move that, move the tie rod out. Tie rod, out. like swing it back. No, no, swing it back. That one, yeah. And then that one, try to line it up on the control arm. There. All right. Oop. I had it. Man, lost. There it goes. Okay. Um, it's hidden. Okay. You good? Yeah, but I think I need to come this way. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. There Got it. it. Yeah, I think that's better. Oh yeah. But where's the other bolts? Hey, so you you came out on the control arm. Came out on the control arm. Yeah, see it? Oh yeah, yeah. There. Okay, I'm not even close here, so I I gotta get it close, and then we start worrying about the bolts. Okay. You know what I mean? This one's not. It's lined up, but it's not a. What? Oh, that's fine. We can line it up at the end. There it goes. It's on the strap right there. 
The what? Oh, uh, something sharp on the end of the thing where I grabbed it. Okay, my control arm is in. Yours oh, is hold in. Hold on, hold on, wait, watch out, watch out. Um, what? It's still brake line. It's really close to him. Hey, what? What brake line? These brake lines. Oh. You know, the brake lines. <laughs> we have, but... I don't know which one you're talking about. The back one? The front? Uh, no, it's, it's going to clear. I just I saw that and realized, oh, I should probably... Okay, so I'm, I'm good to go up? Yes. What was that? That's uh, some rocks, I think, on the end of this. All right. So, um, where that giant screwdriver at? That'll help. Oh, I just had... There it is. Nugget. Hey. Okay, so this one is nug. You want us to nug that one? Yeah, sure. The top one. Oh, the top one? Yeah. It's nugget, not tying the fucking shit out of it. Oh, this is good. There. Now, tie the back one, and then we tie the front ones. So what I'm saying is, talking to spec. <laughs> That's good. That was what, three? Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> Wait, stay three? there. Stay this with extension so you can tie it up. Okay. So now, find the other one. Yep. Good. You need it over there? Or? Yeah. I need to find the, the long one like that too. Oh, I think we're good. Alright guys. So again, you got the one bolt. Wait, where is it? Oh, right there. And that one, same on the other side. Control arm and the tie rod. And you're done. So now we just need to put the uh, power strain lines and then the cooler. And we're pretty much done. I think we're done for today. That was actually pretty good, pretty easy for the first time. Just wait till we do my parts and get <laughs> Yeah. So hopefully this video will help you like, you know, like I did, I, I look for a video on how to, I didn't find anything. So hopefully with this video, you have an idea of how to do it. Uh, it seems pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, of course, having an extra hand helps a lot, but I'm pretty sure you can do it by yourself. It's just a little bit more pain in the ass because you will have to have the jack on this side to guide the, uh, the shaft and then that's it. But pretty much from here, all you have to do is go backwards of what we show you, you know, put the lines, um, put the bolt on the inside. Don't forget to put the little lock on the bolt so that if the nut comes loose or whatever, the bolt will not come off. And then you, you know, you still have a way to control the car. Um, like I say, replace the O-rings on the line. And then, what else? Did I miss something? Put the bolt in the control arm. Put the nuts on the tie rods. Swap the sensor. Do a freaking alignment on your tub. Well, yeah, yeah, you're gonna need an alignment. I mean, even though you get it really close and you saw band measuring and everything, uh, we can get it really close, but you still need an alignment just to make sure that, that it's good. Then you wanna put some fluid, turn it on, just let it idle for a little bit. You're gonna start hearing all this noise from the pump, get all that air out, and then start slowly going side to side all the way until it's good. Test drive it, do the alignment, and you're done. So, I hope you like the video. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions or whatever, just let me know. And please like, subscribe, tell your friends about the video, whatever. And uh, here pretty soon I'll be doing another video of how to on a 428 head. So stay tuned with that one. I got all the parts for my car. And yeah, see, he even Ben is excited. He's like, what? You said 420A head, and I was like, wait, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. We doing we doing a how to on a 428. When I did mine, man, nobody helped me. Uh, well, actually, a few people helped me. One of them was uh, Bradley, and a few others. But uh, I didn't really have a, that much information, so now it's a lot easier to do it. And uh, yeah, I'll show you. It's coming pretty soon. Uh, and then I have another few videos here and there for some more how to's. And then we're getting really close to go back to the track. So that's, that's the exciting news. Um, I got my head, the turbo, the manifold. My brother's car is getting the hot tech, the uh, dash tuned. A bigger turbo stay tuned for that one too and then we're going back to the track so again guys i hope you like the video and uh see you soon Doom.